Yeah, I think it's it's pretty good. I think uh, it's a great opportunity for for you guys to to do everything you are working on. It's it's important for you to compete uh, as as Aitor was was telling you just minutes before. Uh, you have the opportunity to learn how to compete, to have uh, coaches behind helping you, and just just trying to to improve a little bit things you you cannot do well. Uh, and it's also a way to to know where you are. Uh, it's important to to compete, but at the end at the end of the tennis career, the the important thing is to play matches, not not the practice. But everything you do during during the whole the whole week or or whatever you you do in the gym, in the court, or anything you do, it's important to try to to just to go out there on Saturday and try to do as as better as you can. Uh, I don't know. It's it's difficult. It's difficult, you know. Uh, you will have some bad moments also on court, but it's also important to learn how to handle it and and to just to to try to improve the the bad things. I think it's a great idea. And then you have the the help of the UTR right now, which it's it's important to know where where your level is. And just um, I'm just trying to to tell you the. It's important to be focused every match, every Saturday you play, because every Saturday it's a new opportunity to, to I don't know, to to get better, to learn new things, and also always, always uh, believe your coach. Ask anything you you would like to know, anything you think you can you can improve, or anything you you think you should do and you don't. Uh, just this. Uh, every Saturday is an opportunity. Just feel like that. And, and try to go out and play our, your best. Well, Jaume, I think uh, for all of us, it's a privilege to have you as a training partner. Uh, personally, you have always been an example, someone to look up in terms of effort, passion, attitude, and hard work. In the last months, I have been working with my coaches in improving my game in competition, trying to manage the nerves and the pressures. Which advice could you give me, knowing and having the experience of competing almost every week in a very high level? Uh, it's a difficult answer. Uh, it's difficult to 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 handle that nerves to to be under pressure but it's something you have to you to you have to to get used to uh, I think tennis it's it's a tough life as I said uh, in some ways because the the tour is long you have matches almost every week of the year uh, you can be tired you you can feel not comfortable in anything ball sport yourself or anything so it's difficult but as I said before. Uh, the most important thing is to be ready, to get to the match ready on, on what you have to do, to take your time, uh, things things are not going well always in the, the first time, so it's important to take your time, relax, be calm, if something goes wrong, just to think that maybe the next week or the next month or wherever you have a new opportunity to, to do it better, and just trying to, to manage it as, as easy as you can. Uh, it's something I've been through also uh, during these years. I had problems with cramps. I had problems also uh, handling my nerves and and this kind of situation on court. And it's been difficult. Uh, it's the truth. I I can I, I cannot say another thing. But I think the most important thing is to believe to believe what you do, to believe the people you have you have on on your back. Uh, I think you guys are very lucky because you have. Excellent people, uh, not just here, them, everybody who is in the academy, even your teachers in the school if you go there. Uh, and, and this is the most important thing. Uh, to be aware it's not a, a, easy, a easy way, but it's going to be a, a beautiful one. Uh, and you, day by day is so important. Your, your daily work maybe is the most important thing you have. So just be focused on that. Keep your way. Keep going on the way you think is the is the good way, and and enjoy enjoy the path, enjoy every day because it's the most important thing right now for you. Uh, do you have? Do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Try again. 
do you have a uh, about your goals or dreams? If you have doubts, yeah, if you will. Go bully, eh? Uh, yes, yes, I have. Uh, I have, and I think I still have doubts about myself, and I will be doubting about myself. Uh, I think this is a good thing. Uh, it's so important for me, and I think for everybody to, to have doubts, because uh, you always have things to, to, I don't know, to improve, to develop, and the doubts make you know what you have to do better, and, and maybe it's is the goals you have to, to look forward. Uh, I know, as I said, it's difficult moments around around the tennis, but uh, I don't know. Uh, it's difficult to manage it. It's pretty pretty the same I, I said to, to Hans before. Uh, it's it's difficult, but you have you have to to keep going on the. You have to put the goal right there and, and keep going the way you think it's the is the good one. Uh, if you want to be a better player, you will have stones on the way, and it's going to be very difficult. But you have to be aware of that. It's not an easy, an easy path for for anyone. So the most important thing is it's keep believing and keep working, working, working every day, because every day you can be a little bit better. Changes. Oh. Many things. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm coming from Barcelona. I've been there for six years, living there without my family. For me, it's one of the most important things I have right now. Uh, and one of the changes was was personal change. Uh, I came back from Barcelona to live uh, in Mallorca after after six years. Uh, and then, uh, tennis speaking, uh, I have changed a lot of things. Uh, but the most important one, I think, it was outside the court. I was a, an organized person. Uh, I was not the the best one on it, I was not focused maybe the what I need to do. Uh, and since I got here, uh, I've been working about that. Years ago, I also did, but it didn't work. <laughs> uh, and this is the most important thing. I think my daily work is getting better and better. I'm really feeling comfortable with, with what I'm doing. I'm really believing the people I have. Uh, as I said, I had very bad moments during this year, but I overcome this uh, with with great results at the end. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I mean, technical, you can you can have a lot of changes. It's play tennis is not an easy game. You have uh, physical, mental, uh, anything you you have to to develop. But the most important thing, uh, it's. It's to get better every day, to don't stop on the way, uh, to try to to look forward, as I said in the video, to, to look forward for big stages, to imagine yourself in, in great places, playing the matches you want to play, and then this will inspire you to, to work hard and hard every day. What are your goals for 2019? Well, this is a good question. Uh, about the results, I don't know yet. Because I'm not, I'm not thinking too much about that at the moment. We're still in December and the, the season is starting in January. It's going to be a long one. Uh, there's many things. Physically, I think I, I can improve a lot. I've been working in the gym a lot of hours to to just to to be a little bit player, a little bit better player, and then 
on court I can change a lot of things. I'm working so much on my forehand, which is a great goal for me because I think it's important weapon for everyone who's playing tennis right now. As you know, the tennis the tennis player right now are hitting the ball so hard, so it's important to to have good ground strokes and, and to feel comfortable in this in this fast tennis level. Uh, and then I think I I, I keep working. Uh, my my daily work. I think I have many things to improve uh, right now. I'm a still a very young player. I'm 21, uh, so it's important for me to to be focused on things I've been working during the, the last years. But I can develop it more and more. Uh, and then mentally, I have to be more constant. I have to to work a little bit more to to play good tennis as much weeks as I can. Uh, last year I did a lot of first round and second round, which which was tough for me mentally. So I'm, I will work about that. And then as I said, that results, I don't have any any goal yet. Uh, but but for sure it's going to be a good year if I, if I keep going on the rankings and I can maybe finish on top 50 or, you know. What's the biggest change that you've done from change from a junior player to a professional player? Uh, I think one of the biggest change I have done to today is that it's off court. Uh, I mean, on court, I think I worked very hard uh, since years ago, uh, but of course, I was not focused on the goals, as I said, uh, and now I am. Maybe I am feeling one one sentence. It's always Rafa Selly saying uh, that I have to I have to feel that the the tennis is it's all my life, but be aware that that it's not. Uh, I'm I'm in in this stage right now. Uh, I love tennis. First of all, it's my work. Uh, second, and and I'm just and I'm just doing what I want, but. I have to be focused 24 hours for, for the goals I have. Every, everyone has, has time for relax, for meet friends, for chill, for whatever. Even party if you want, but uh, during the, the most of the time you have to be focused on, on what you need to be focused. And this is maybe the, the biggest change I have done. Like about yourself. What I dislike? What you like and dislike about yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As a tennis player? Everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh I think one of the one of my best things uh, is that when I want something I work really hard for it and I work till till the end. If, if I start something and I want to do it uh, as better as I can, I work as better as I can also. And maybe I dislike sometimes uh, I can be frustrated. I can be frustrated if, if the things are not going in the right way. This is maybe the, the thing I have to change during the years. Uh, as I said, in on court and off court, because I have many problems with that. But it's something I, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that I, I'm going to be I'm going to be better next year, so it's not a real trouble for me. Uh, 
I think, to be honest, uh, in the top 100, maybe I'm not one of the best hitting the ball or or I don't know, or serving, or hitting forehands, or doing drop shots. Uh, I think my best thing on court is that I'm fighting. I am. I feeling like a fighter. I also feel really comfortable about my options on court. Uh, every match I play, I think uh, I can do it. This is also maybe sometimes uh, a bad choice because I feel frustrated very often. But the most important thing is is. The, the way I play, I think I fight every ball, every point, play point by point, it's it's pretty important for me. Uh, and it's something I have, I don't know, since I was young. Uh, it's my way to, to see the, the things, and it's my way to, to love and to, to fight for, for this sport uh, I love. Uh, this is the most important thing right now. I, I think I can, I can improve a lot of things uh, as I say hitting the ball or whatever, but it's something that will will all, uh, always be be by my side, my fight and my my I don't know my mis ganas, my desire and my my desire to win every every match, every point, every set, every every single thing. Um, did you have a plan B? If Tennis didn't work out. Yes, I did, and I still had it. Uh, I think I was I was a student uh, years ago. I didn't like to study. Uh, I think it was a really boring part of my life. But at the moment, I'm. Um, um, trying to study as much as I can, not in university, not in the school, but by myself. Uh, I wanted to, to study to study medicine, to be to be a doctor a long time ago. Uh, I think I could I could do it, but at the moment I'm playing tennis. Uh, of course, I, I'm still thinking about to study in the university. I'm so busy at the moment, so it's pretty difficult for me to, to have that time to do exams and wherever, but I'm just trying to learn as much as I can in, in the in the things I like uh, and then I really like I started economics in the university I did just few few subjects uh, and I think I don't know when but I think I will finish that career because I, I really like to, to keep learning and to keep just getting a, a bigger person. Ask it from there. Sorry? Who was your tennis idols when you when you were growing up as a kid? Uh, I always had Rafa here in Mallorca, so he is a very important one and maybe the top the top model for me. Uh, but I have many. Uh, and when I was really young, I loved. I remember Andy Roddick, uh, and I really liked the way he was doing show in court, Monfields. But at the end, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm learn I, I was learning tennis fast, and I was, and I was looking for, for Spanish players, because this is the thing you have more close. Uh, for me, Rafa Nadal is a great example, but it's also a different one, because he's very, very good, as you know. His work ethic is amazing. I think he's special also for this, but I love I love also that for I have to say uh, maybe one of the best days of my tennis life was was when I played not beat when I played him in Roland Garros I felt really really I don't know really it was really special moment emotional moment for me uh, and if I have to to take one or two I take for sure David Ferrer and Rafael Nadal. I just say it a lot. 
Sí, 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 siempre. Uh, the best advice I, I can give you is so simple. It's just work. <laughs> work as much as you can. Uh, always try to try to improve every time you have uh, in anything, not just in tennis, because it's it's very important. And then enjoy enjoy the path, enjoy the the way. Uh, the day by day is also very very important. Uh, of course, it's beautiful when when you have good results and you you can get trophies. And even if you are better player, you earn money and anything. But at the end, uh, at the final at the final of the of someone's career, the the thing you remember is it's the the day by day, the way you work, the people you had, uh, the people you had behind helping you, the the. Everything, everything you learn over the years. This is the most important thing. I think uh, I'm I'm doing it by myself, and I think you guys can can really try to enjoy it because you are very lucky to be here. I think it's a great opportunity for you to to be in the academy. Everybody, everybody here is trying to help you uh, as much as they can. I'm I'm sure about that, as they do they do with me. So enjoy, enjoy as much as you can, and work as much as you can, and the things for sure will be better for you. All right, let's let's have last question. Anybody? One question there. But well, I actually have, have one question I was thinking, so I'll make it myself now that I have the, mi the micro. Uh, because a lot of people were asking you questions um, about frustrations or nerves or things that I think we all feel, uh, not just as a tennis players, but as, uh, as coaches or I think we can all relate to these things. And my question to you is, uh, you've had good success this, this year and through, through the junior years. Uh, what qualities do you think you have that set you apart from people that maybe didn't have that success? That's, that's my question. Uh, first of all, uh, I have to say I am lucky. Because uh, it's not anyone even working as hard as you can that that can play tennis or can do anything in life for sure everybody is, is very good at something in life but you have to find it uh and then uh i don't know my character is is good i think but finally I, i'm just getting success in, in tennis i am not a better person or whatever to to hit the ball inside the line uh this, this is something you have to to be very aware of uh Tennis is a part of your life, maybe is the best part of your life right now, and you have to enjoy it, but it's also important to, to look forward, to open your eyes, to try to, to be, I don't know, to be interested about other things, because there's many things in life we are always maybe here in the, in the academy, and you are all breathing tennis 24/7 and 12 months a year, but it's important to you guys to to relax a little bit, to be also interested in other topics, uh, to enjoy your time out of the court. Uh, and about the success, uh, I think I did many things, uh, many good things and many bad things. Uh, I, I cannot just choose one, but. If we, tennis speaking, uh, I think I, I work a lot. Uh, I had many time on court, of court, thinking about what I can do better. But I will, I will not say it's something special on me. I, I just putting hours on, on it, and many people is doing it. Uh, so I'm really feeling, uh, I am a lucky guy about this. But I also feel like I did a lot of work to, to be in the position I am right now. But I also think, as I said, many people is doing the work I do, and they are not they are not here because they don't have maybe that talent. No, 
this wasn't prepared, but uh, we're gonna try to record um, something from all of you. I don't know if you're ready for a Christmas song. <laughs> no, okay, I, I mean, I was joking. But yeah, um, we're just gonna say all together, Merry Christmas, and we're, we're gonna record it, okay? Uh, from here, Yama's gonna be in the middle, and then all the coaches also. 